Well, welcome back to the Porch Sessions here, live in New Orleans, Louisiana, at the Three Muses with none other than Aurora Neeland. Hello. Hello. How are you? I am well. You're it's busy. Be it's a busy time of life. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say a busy time of year, but it's maybe a busy time of life. Well, that's great. I mean, you've had a lot of output going on. Tell, tell us, what have you been up to? Um, well, the Royal Roses, who you guys uh, recorded. Fantastic, by the way. Um, we had a new CD that came out just in the spring, and then I have a couple other projects. I have a, like a free improvisation trio uh, with Paul Thibodeau and Brad Walker, and I play accordion. We had a CD that came out, and I have a... Um, <laughs> Rockabilly, avant-garde rockabilly performance art band. <laughs> and we just came out with an album two weeks ago. What's that called? Uh, that's called Rory Danger and the Danger Dangers. That's a hard one to say. It's it's Rory true. Danger and the Danger Dangers. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, we have a good time. It's a bunch of really amazing musicians from a bunch of different bands, and we kind of made a super group <laughs> that we, you know, just people that I love and I never get to play with. So, well, that's um, wonderful. Yeah, and then I have a solo project that's coming out with an album soon and that's exciting all wow. original music so it's exciting you are very busy so you know tell us a little bit about yourself i mean how how, how did you get to be you uh, how would you, you end up here <laughs> uh, <laughs> how did you end up doing what you question. do yeah um what, what's your journey what's part of it well i'm not really sure i know exactly what i'm doing still but um it's okay for sure, I've always loved sound. Mm -hmm. So, and I would I say that I don't I, th I don't always say I, I loved music. I just loved sound. Um, I say that because I really enjoy listening to soundscapes and listening to sound as music, and I think that informs a lot of my mm, musical my inner ear, I guess. Um, so yeah, I grew up in mostly California, mm -hmm. and uh, I went to school, and I studied electronic music and classical composition and anthropology, and then I went and lived in Europe, and I studied some experimental theater, physical theater at the Jacques Lecoq School. Um, then I didn't know what I was doing, like most 24-year-olds, <laughs> and um, I took a bicycle trip across the country and recorded a bunch of interviews. Um, and then landed here in New Orleans to visit a friend, and I didn't know what I was doing, um, and I thought I would just stay for six months while I figured out what I was doing. I thought I would maybe go to graduate school for music composition, uh, so I just was here kind of composing in, in a quiet room, and kind of during that time, New Orleans started to seep into my psyche <laughs> and my life, and I um, started, it was really then that I started playing more music rather than, I played a lot of music kind of in the backgrounds when I was composing, but um, it was more at that point when I got to New Orleans that I started playing more music, and specifically traditional jazz. I had kind of grown up, uh, I can remember seeing Preservation Hall jazz band play when I was about 10. They used to come to the San Francisco Bay Area in this huge place called Stern Grove where they have uh, free concerts. It's a huge, beautiful uh, eucalyptus grove. Um, and I remember seeing Preservation Hall band playing then, and, and it kind of made a big influence on me. Both my parents were um, uh, musical people, mm -hmm. um, are musical people, um, and they had some Willie Humphreys records and Stravinsky and Joan Baez and Barbara Streisand, but they had also a, a large collection of Preservation Hall, so that was kind of my first hearing of the traditional jazz music, and then when I moved to New Orleans, I started delving back and listening to the older recordings. Um, where the Preservation Hall Jazz Band had come from. So mm -hmm. Sidney Bechet and Clarence Williams and George Lewis and Louis Armstrong. Um, so I sort of started to get interested in that and that's when I started playing traditional jazz when I came here to New Orleans. Wow, that's quite a story. You asked for a story. So. <laughs> no, I, wanted, I wanted a story. I appreciate that. Yeah. So, now, and if I'm not mistaken, you actually have got to run to another one of your gigs in a few minutes tonight. I or do. today, I should say. Yeah, yeah so. I do. Well, good. Well, you know, it's really been great getting to know you here, and I really appreciate you taking the time to, yeah. to spend time with us. And uh, so um, if you guys are in New Orleans or are traveling anywhere and you see Aurora Nealon's name, Make sure you do not miss this wonderful artist. And thank you for spending some time with us on the porch sessions here in thank you. New Orleans, Louisiana. So we'll see you guys soon and have a great gig. Thank you, Drew. All right. Thank you. Thanks.
s'ennuie, mais tout loulou nous a pris. Depuis Jazz au Bordoli, tout loulou commandez-vous, tout loulou, mi tout loulou, aïe, tout loulou, mi tout loulou, aïe, en bas de mer, tout loulou, aïe, tout loulou, mi tout loulou, aïe, en bas de bien, tout loulou, caca, tout loulou, mi tout loulou, aïe, tout loulou, tout loulou, tout loulou, aïe, tout loulou, mi tout loulou.